Verse 13 says this, when the Lord saw her, that's the widow, his heart overflowed with what? Say it with me, compassion. Compassion. It, it was compassion that moved Jesus to action. And it's compassion that will move us to action. So I want to say this, don't be compassive, okay? You're like, what? What? I just made that up. Brand new word, just uh, coined it just a moment ago. Don't be, turn to somebody and tell them, don't be compassive. I work that into a conversation this week. Post it on social media. Don't be compassive, because if we get this worked up enough, maybe we could get it into the Webster's Dictionary by the end of the year. So, but what, what does that even mean? I mean, I made up the word. It's not even a word. Don't be, comp- what does compassive even mean? You know what compassive is? Compassive people are people who see the need, but they don't do anything. Like they see the need, but they, they make the excuse. Like, oh man, I'd, I'd love to help, but I'm, gosh, I'm just, I, I, I don't have time to stop. I, I, I got to get to a thing and, and I'm really sorry. Or, or man, I, my, uh, my hands are full or, or, you know, I've got this and I, I, don't, I don't have the resources. I don't have, I don't have the, the time. I don't have the ability. I, I really wouldn't know what to, we make these excuses. Don't be compassive. Not only do they make excuses, but some people, they see the need. They just don't do anything. Because they don't really care because they're so self-centered and so self-focused that they don't even really care about the needs. Or frankly, many people in the church today, man, are just indecisive and indifferent. Just indifferent to the needs. Huh? Yeah, I don't I Somebody probably ought to do something about that. Don't be compassive. Here's the thing about passion. If you want passion, passion comes out of compassion. So if you want more passion, you got to have more compassion. So the more compassion you have, the more passionate you're going to be. And Jesus is saying, I want to move you from a passive observer to a passionate follower. And it was compassion and passion that moved Jesus to action.